Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're here, finally. <laughs> Woo! Let's get it. I feel the energy. I feel the vibes. Okay, let's start by mentioning the Board of Honors and the Honors Table. First, we have Dr. Franklin Valson, the President and Academic Dean of AIU. Next up, we have Dr. Ricardo M. Gonzalez, our Provost. Please give him a warm welcome. And Dr. Jose Mercado, Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Dr. Ricardo A. Gonzalez, Vice President and Chief Officer of Operations. Dr. Miriam Garivaldi, Vice Provost for Research. Dr. Scott Wilson, our own AIU Academic Advisor. And a warm welcome to Dr. Lucila Del Rosario, AIU Ambassador, Psychologist, Writer and Publisher, Founder and President of Sociocultural Program, Crecimiento Social, Socio Alegre. And Arlene Peña de Orbe, General Consul of the Dominican Republic in Italy. Dearest graduates, it is my great honor and privilege to stand before you all today and address you on this momentous occasion of your AIU graduation. Congratulations on this incredible achievement. Your hard work, dedication, and perseverance have paid off, and you should all be immensely proud of what you have accomplished. This is a very special graduation ceremony as we celebrate AIU's 25th anniversary. Happy birthday, AIU! <laughs> it's also a very important day as today marks the first in-person graduation in almost four years. Following the unprecedented challenges we have all faced due to the COVID pandemic. But, as the saying goes, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. The fact that you're here after successfully completing your degree and representing over 65 countries is a testament to your resilience and determination to overcome adversity. And while not all of our fellow graduates can join us today, we celebrate with them and with everyone who's fighting to make the world a better place through education. As we look to the future, I am confident that each and every one of you will go on to make a positive impact in the world. Our world is in desperate need for leaders like you who are committed to making a difference and who will not back down in the face of adversity. <sighs> ah. Remember the AIU pledge and use your unique talents and abilities to create meaningful change and inspire your communities. As you embark on the next phase of your journey, always stay true to yourselves and to your values. Embrace lifelong learning and perpetual evolution through new opportunities and experience. And make sure to touch base with us and with your fellow alumni, the AIU family, a family that transcends race, gender, sexual orientation, religious beliefs, and geographical location. I want to offer you my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. You are the future, and I'm excited to see the incredible things that you will accomplish in the years to come. Go forth with confidence, courage, knowledge, and commitment in making the world a better place for all. Thank you, and congratulations, AIU family. Now for our Spanish-speaking fellow graduates. Felicidades graduados. This will be short, no worries. Felicidades graduados. Hoy es un día para celebrar. Su arduo trabajo, dedicación y perseverancia han dado frutos y deben estar inmensamente orgullosos de lo que han logrado. Esta ceremonia de graduación es sumamente especial, ya que marca nuestra primera graduación presencial en casi cuatro años debido a los desafíos sin precedentes de la pandemia del COVID-19. 
su resiliencia para llegar hasta aquí y recoger su título, representando a más de 65 países, es verdaderamente magnífica. Tengo la gran certeza de que cada uno de ustedes tendrá un impacto positivo en el mundo. Nuestro planeta necesita líderes como ustedes, comprometidos a marcar una diferencia, sin rendirse ante las adversidades. Tienen la capacidad de crear un cambio significativo e inspirar a sus comunidades. Así que recuerden el compromiso que hicieron con AIU y manténganse fieles a sus valores y a su autenticidad como individuos únicos e irrepetibles. Escojan el aprendizaje de por vida y la evolución perpetua a través de ir cultivando nuevas oportunidades y experiencias. Manténganse conectados con nosotros y con la red de exalumnos. Recuerden que la familia de AIU trasciende nacionalidades, géneros, razas, orientaciones sexuales, creencias religiosas y ubicaciones geográficas. Ustedes son el futuro y estamos emocionados de atestiguar las tremendas proezas que llevarán a cabo en los próximos años y décadas. Sigamos adelante con confianza, conocimiento, sabiduría y el compromiso de hacer del mundo un lugar mejor que el que tenemos. ¡Felicidades! And now, please welcome Ariel Rose. Woo. Please rise. And please rise for the national anthem. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so streaming and the rocket's red glow, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled Thank you. That was beautiful, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And now we'll have God Bless America. Mm -hmm. God bless America, lands that I love, stand beside her. Through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies, to the oceans white with foam, God bless America, my home sweet. Congratulations. Now we're going to take a moment to recognize all the different countries here today from all over the world. Literally every inhabited continent in the world is represented in this room, and we're so proud of that. Starting with 
Angola. Please rise if you hear the name of your country. All right? Angola. Bravo. Argentina. Yeah. Bravo. Belgium. Benin or Benin, you know. Benin. Benin, Benin. Where is it? Okay. Bolivia. Bolivia. Bravo. Cameroon. Canada. Wow. Cayman Islands. Central African Republic. Chad. Chile. Uh, <laughs> Colombia. Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. Costa Rica. Dominican Republic, República Dominicana. Ecuador. El Salvador. Equatorial Guinea. Bravo. Ethiopia. Ghana. Grenada. Uh, Guatemala. Guyana. <laughs> Haiti. Oh. Honduras. <laughs> India. And Ireland. Oh. Italy. Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire. Jamaica. Kenya. Oh. People's Democratic Republic of Laos. Uh. Liberia. Mali, Mexico, <laughs> Mozambique, Mozambique, Myanmar, Netherlands and Tees, and Tees, and Tills. Nicaragua, Nigeria, <laughs> Palestine, este... Panama, Papua New Guinea, Peru. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Saint Lucia. Saw Tom and Princip. Yeah. <laughs> Singapore. South Africa. South Sudan, Spain, uh, 
Sri Lanka. Swaziland. Switzerland. Tanzania. Tanzania, sorry. Tanzania. Mm -hmm. Trinidad and Tobago. Uganda. United Arab Emirates. United Kingdom. United States. Uh, Venezuela. Vietnam. Zambia. Zimbabwe. And now a big one for all of y'all. Let's go, every country. Woo! Beautiful. And Sudan, please. Jordan. And Togo. Thank you for that. Thank you. Ecuador. <laughs> Palestine again. <laughs> Graneros. All right, and now, please join me in welcoming Dr. Franklin Valson. Dr. Franklin Valson is, well, let's start with what he's done since the beginning. He has a bachelor's degree from the Union University, Cincinnati, a master's in education from the University of Miami, a doctor degree in education with a concentration in instructional technology, design, and distance education. His reputation and education precede him. With six years in administration and 24 in the classroom, honored among the best teachers in the USA's and who's who among American's teachers, Dr. Valson is AIU's academic dean since the year 2000 and the current president of Atlantic International University. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Franklin Valson. Thank you, Santiago. Good afternoon. Very dear colleagues of the presiding table of Atlantic International University, very cherished graduating students from the prestigious class of 2023, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to first ask you to give it up very largely with a big round of applause for this beautiful assembly, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I think every one of you who has joined us for this potentially significant and important event a graduation ceremony anywhere you go around the world that certainly means a lot but i'm not gonna have a normal speech for you since my words will be limited for the graduates dear graduating students congratulations again from where i am at this time at this podium I sense every heartbeat of yours. 
I feel your pride. I do understand your courage, your resilience, your commitment, your courage, your self-confidence. I understand it all because I've been there. We have to go back about half of a century ago. I remember when I was trying to uh, make plans for my future. I wanted to be a teacher, a college, university professor, a radio, television personality. And those around me back then who were aware of my dreams, they went like this. <laughs> they laughed at me because they believed that there is no way I was going to make it. <laughs> right at this time, 50 years later, more or less, I'm laughing at them. Thank you. Because if I were to take you to my office right at this time, I don't know, Dr. Mercado, if you could provide me with helicopters. I don't know how many we're going to need to take all these people to my office. You're going to see multiple university degrees at all levels hang all over my office. That's a way to tell you I do understand what it means. But let me stop right here because this event is not about me, right? <laughs> it's about you. We are celebrating your accomplishments, not mine. So I'm not going to be talking anymore about myself. I'll give you one more anecdote, by the way, if you don't mind. Uh, today, I went through something very meaningful. You know, we have been absent for about four years. Since the beginning of the pandemic, we have been absent. So as we are resuming this type of activity, I wanted to look my very best. So this morning, I decided to uh, polish every single strand of hair on my head. I wanted them to look great. You know, you're looking at me, a very handsome man, right? <laughs> so I wanted to look very great. But guess what? Uh, that's a lot of hair anyway. By the time I looked up the clock, it was too late. I had no other choice than the speed. I apologize to any police officer who might be in the room right now, but I had no choice. So I started doing 80 miles per hour on the causeway. And of course, as you could understand, a police officer who was waiting at the speed trap pulled me over. I stopped. And uh, his first question was, do you realize, sir, how fast you were going? I said, well, well, why are you stopping me? Everybody else was speeding. He said, what do you mean everybody else? You're not everybody else. You are unique and unrepeatable. This is the key word, ladies and gentlemen. Unique and unrepeatable. There isn't Two human beings who are alike. This is exactly where the concept of DNA comes from. You are unique and unrepeatable. This is about each and every one of you. You've done it, ladies and gentlemen, because you believed in yourselves. You believed that you could do it. You went for it and you reached this major milestone goal. You did it because 
God's plans always prevail. God's agendas never fail. I'm not asking you to uh, understand the uh, religious standpoint of this statement. But when God decides, that's exactly what's going to happen. That's why you did it. And I once again want to congratulate each and every one of you. Please, never be afraid of what lies ahead for you. It is going to be good if you believe that's the way it's going to be because God will always stand wave and around you. There are plenty of accomplishments, successes galore that are waiting for each and every one of you. Como lo estoy diciendo en este momento, que nunca tengan miedo, que nunca se desalienten, porque el poderoso Dios siempre estará con ustedes hacia el éxito. No importa lo que tengan que hacer, lo que quieran hacer, el éxito con la posición de Dios estará a su alcance. So, don't worry, ladies and gentlemen of the uh, graduating class. Today is your day. It is a celebration day. I am not going to spoil that with a longer speech. So I'm going to stop right at this. Just remember, the future is in your hands. All you have to do is believe that you can get it and go ahead for it, and you will get it. Once again, without further ado, kudo, Excel Shore, and uh, congratulations to all of you. Again, be blessed. God will be with you. Congratulations again. Let's give it up again for AIU's president, Dr. Franklin Valson. Beautiful speech. All righty. How are we all feeling? Good. We should be feeling good and proud. All right. Now we're going to have Dr. Scott Wilson coming in. And Dr. Scott Wilson started his career with a business administration uh, bachelor in science from West Virginia University, a master's in political science, and then transmuted, transformed into a PhD coursework in international relations and comparative politics from the Louisiana State University. He's also adjunct faculty with Regent University, Ashford University, Louisiana State University, and many more. And of course, our very own faculty advisor at AIU Atlantic International University. Please welcome Dr. William Scott Wilson. Graduates, welcome to graduation. It's really nice to see you all here today in person. You've sacrificed a great deal to get here today. You juggled your responsibilities with work, family, your studies. You sacrificed time, including weekends and evenings. You've, ba you've made a huge investment to get here today. Today is your special day, and we are here to celebrate you. One of the nicest part about the ceremonies is meeting your families. No matter where our graduates come from, they always bring an amazing family and support system with them or in spirit. I really enjoyed getting to know uh, Lucy and her beautiful family, Isa, Isa, Mika, and Abril. Did I get that right? <laughs> Lovely family. Congratulations to all of you. 
You know, in some ways, when you think about it, we're really not off that far from the life of a star footballer in a Champions League team. Okay, we're paid a little bit differently. We might not have our own marketing team or cars waiting for us. Okay. But we still have a lot in common with them. Like star footballers, behind the scenes, we have an amazing support staff that never lets us down, motivates us when the going gets hard. Our spouses motivate us. Our spouses cover for us when we're not able to tend to family matters. We work hard for our children. Providing for our children really motivates us. No matter our age, our parents are always going to tell us how proud we make them feel. We have people to lift up our spirits when the going gets tough, and we have ears that are always going to listen to us when we want to gripe and complain. So it's true, this is your special day, and we are here to celebrate you. But seriously, we should really take a quick moment to thank those that have supported us along the way. Many of those are with us here, or if not, they're at home watching online trying to see where you guys are. It would be impossible to get where we are today without this support structure. So please, let's just give a big applause to those that supported us, those that are, came with us, and those that are watching us online. Uh, thanks so much, graduates. Congratulations again on behalf of Dr. Mercado, Dr. Valson, Provost Gonzalez, all the faculty, tutors, advisors, and admission staff. Congratulations on your graduation. We're so proud of you, and welcome to the AIU family. Thank you, Dr. Scott Wilson, for always reminding us that without our support system, we're nothing. We need each other, and that's why we're all here as a big AIU family. And now, we're actually going to begin to confer diplomas for groups A to F. So we begin with A. Makes sense, right? <laughs> All right. So, please line up first, right? <laughs> so, Group A with Judith. Let's line up. Maxine Teo from Singapore with a degree in Doctor of Philosophy, a PhD in Psychology. Woo! <laughs> Nahal Gadvi from India with a Doctor of Marketing in Marketing. Jonathan Oga Ukuru, Nigeria, Doctor of Philosophy, Business Management. <laughs> Jennifer Mlanga, Zambia, Bachelor of Science in Psychology.
And now we have Karen M. Porpora from the United States with a doctor in theology, a doctor of theology, degree in theology, excuse me. Next up, we have Rachel Nyonkoy Jackson from Liberia with a Master of Business Administration in Business Administration. <laughs> Nelly Muyatwa Nyambe from Zambia, Doctor of Science in Renewable Energy. Kirsten A. Woodward from the United States, a Doctor of Science in Biology. Aisha Ahmed Abubakar from Nigeria, Doctor of Public Health in Public Health. Apolo Nyangayo Oluoch from Kenya, Doctor of Conflict Management in Conflict and Peacekeeping. Lazaro Mutunda from Angola, Bachelor of Business Management in Business Management. Adina Mukurashisha from Zimbabwe, Doctor of Business Administration and Business Management. Admire Lima Pires dos Santos, Sao Tome and Principe, Master of International Business and Business Management. Kazadi Musempe Caleb, Congo, Master of Science, Mining Engineering. Mohammed Lamin Yakub from Chad, Doctor of Economics, Business and Economics. Tinubu Muhammad S.A. Nigeria, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Etse John Keke from Togo, Doctor of Philosophy, Peace, Leadership, and Conflict Resolution. Osandu Godwin Atgabuzia, Nigeria. Doctor of Strategic Leadership, Peace, Leadership, and Conflict Resolution. <laughs> Kenneth Kamau Kabaje 
from Kenya with a Bachelor of Business in Business Management. Munir Jude, United States, with a Doctor of Philosophy in Auditing. And a graduate with distinction. Paul Andrew Williams from Guyana, Doctor of Science in International Relations. <laughs> Eunice Dube from the United States with a Doctor of Science, Health Sciences and Public Health. Ahmed J. Sewell from Nigeria with a Doctor of Philosophy in Telecommunications. Godwin Ako from Nigeria with a Doctor of Philosophy in Organizational Behavior Management. Sufyane Mahamat Abmat from Chad, Master of Science in Public Health. Sylvanas Ogbor from Nigeria, Doctor of Management, Leadership and Change Management. Mark Gerard Dearden, United Arab Emirates, Doctor of Philosophy in Educational Psychology. Oluwatoyin Olatumbozun Ahala, Nigeria, Master of Management and Facility Management. Nwai Nandar Kaing from Myanmar. Post Doctor of Business Administration in Business Administration. <laughs> Fumzile Queeneth Magagula from Swaziland. Doctor of Philosophy in Educational Planning and Evaluation.
Don't they look great up there? How many PhDs does it take to take a group picture? My name is Edna Mkurajija from Harare, Zimbabwe. What an honor, what a blessing to be graduating today with my PhD in business administration. I am grateful to God. I am grateful to my husband and my girls for allowing me to dream. I am grateful to my family for their support and for their love. I would not be here today graduating without their love and support. In Zimbabwe, I am a member of the steering committee for UN Women Zimbabwe chapter. Today, I'm going to talk about the number one goal, the number one SDG, sustainable development goal, is no poverty. I am a Christian. I believe we were created to live a life of abundance. I believe we were never created to live a life from paycheck to paycheck. I have been in the banking sector in Zimbabwe for over 25 years. After climbing up the corporate ladder where I started as a graduate trainee to managing director of one of the financial institutions in Zimbabwe. Five years ago, we started a financial institution to help the women in Zimbabwe to be financially independent. I graduated from being an employee to be an employer, starting a credit union to help women to break out of mediocrity to greatness. When you look at the statistics in Zimbabwe, we have 51% women. A study was done by the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. 
Out of a population of 16 million, 51% are women. Out of the 51%, only 14% have had access to financial services. We are helping the women in Zimbabwe through our organization to be financially independent. We are helping the women in Zimbabwe to break the spirit of poverty. We are helping the women in Zimbabwe to have multiple streams of income. Today, I am graduating with my PhD in business administration. My thesis was financial inclusion and women empowerment. We believe one woman at a time. When you empower a woman, you empower a nation. We are partnering with institutions in Africa to help the women, not only in Zimbabwe, to be financially in independent. And I'm grateful to AIU to be graduating today with my PhD in business administration. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Woo! Yes, I was pleasantly surprised. I was asked if I would like to share some thoughts. I think following up the note on Edna, who talked about minorities, about underprivileged. As a woman, I think there's a lot of things that people think we can't do. And I think especially in today's world, there's a lot of equal opportunities. And I thank Atlantic International University for this opportunity to be here from a small little island called Singapore. Who has heard of Singapore? Oh yes, you have, thank you. <laughs> we are an independent country. Many of us think we are from China or different parts. But on that note, in my doctorate in psychology, for specializing in psychology, my thesis was writing a book. And one of the things I love about the opportunity of AIU is its flexibility, right? You can design your own course at your own pace. If you agree with me, please make some noise. Woo! Do you hear, yes? I know, there are so many options around, but what I love about this is we have all that. And because of that, my thesis is focusing on writing a book, which I'm going to launch on Mother's Day in memory of my mother. She, my mother passed on last month, and she was happy when she knew I graduated, so she's with me here in spirit. Those of us who miss our parents, let's pay tribute to them. So I'm very proud to be here. Thank you for this opportunity, and I wish all of you success. It's not about just getting that degree or the diploma. It's just the beginning. Let's all work together to make the world a better place. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. It is good to be here. Is it not good? Can we clap for ourselves? Yeah, this is a beautiful day. I love the beauty in everybody's eyes. My name is Jonathan Ogaukuru. I'm from Nigeria. Oh, what do you say when I say I'm from Nigeria? That is the city of wealth in the world. Ooh, you want to doubt it? I want to use this privilege actually to thank very my humble people here for the world inspiration. I've been looking and searching, but I've not found it until when I find a are you? And when I had a little chat with my very big boss here, it turned the entire world. What was it? I asked the question, I'm going to repeat it again. Is there any of you who has not taken a pharmaceutical drug? Medicine. Even if you have not taken, the last COVID has actually shown us something. True or false? It is very true. Where I come from in the West Africa and African zone, they say that those countries cannot produce a product for somebody to take. Why? Because they don't look at Africa as Africa, a country that, or a nation or continent that can actually do anything. But I can bet you right now that when you go to some part of the Africa, what you're going to see there is as great as what you have in the United States. All thanks to hard work and determination. 
It is in the light of that determination that as we speak today, there are some, some countries in Africa that you cannot find a single manufacturing facility. And imagine the number of population and imagine the number of debt in the rural areas. So what do we do? We went through teeth and thought to such countries to say, enough is enough. Let's get you and you will start producing a good pharmaceutical product. So I'm so proud to stand before you and so honored before the school to tell you that as we speak, some part of the world already have that. I look at that again. We are a continent, but we lack so many things. With a lot of bigger wealth, why do we have to do that? Why do we have to do that? So, I told myself, what we are doing that is wrong, is it that it's not well managed? What we're doing that you think is wrong, is it that there's no planning? What we are doing that is very wrong, is it there is no strategy to achieve something? Are there no benchmark? But why are the failings? So, I took that, I said, no. We need to change the, our history, our narration from that and said, what can we do to actually have a strategy? With any project you want to do, sir, the project that you embark on for a number of years, there was a strategy behind it, two of us. Good. And there was a planning behind it. You managed it very well. We are your product today. Is it not? So all of us are product. So I give you, and I challenge all of us, when you go back to your various places, try as much as possible to change something. They say change is constant, and the world will be a better place. On that note, I want to thank my family. I want to thank the AIU. I want to thank these amiable members and the management of this team for the opportunity for all of us gathered here today to go home with something. And as we go home with something, let us come back to this school to say thank you. And that is why today we are called the alumni members of AIU. Thank you. Thank you. Well, now we have Group B all lined up and ready to go. Como nos sentimos? And we start with Sergio Vicente Cayuela Garcia from Spain with a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering. Marie Oquendo Lopez de Puerto Rico, Doctor of Marketing in Marketing. Edison Antonio Melendez Vasquez from Dominican Republic with a Master of Economics and Social Economics. <laughs> 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 
Juan Francisco Mogollón Castillo from Peru with a postdoctorate of legal sciences in legal sciences. Patricio Bacale Mba Meja from Equatorial Guinea, Doctor of Sports Science, Health Science and Sports. Salvador Nguema Esono Mange Nkili, Equatorial Guinea, Bachelor of Science in Industrial Psychology. Blanca R. Garcia Salgado from Puerto Rico, Doctor of Organizational Development, Organizational Development. Jose Silvestre Quesada Sanchez from República Dominicana, postdoctorate of administration in rural administration, graduate with distinction. Mario Alexis Moncada Torres from Honduras, Doctor of Human Rights and Conflict Resolution and Migration. Georgina A. Moronta from República Dominicana, Doctor of Political Science in Political Science. Hugo Muñoz from Chile, Doctor of Business Administration in Psychology. René Torres Villacorta from Chile, Doctor of Science in Family Therapy. Ivan Ricardo Lobe from Equatorial Guinea, Master of Science in Energy. Daniel Alejandro Fuentes Alvarez from Chile, Bachelor of Science in Metallurgical Engineering. Y 
Idalia Diaz Colon from Puerto Rico, Doctor of Science in Library and Information Science, graduate with distinction. Aura Herminda Lopez Salazar from Colombia, Doctor of Finance in Financial Administration, graduate with distinction. Odali Santana Vicente from República Dominicana, Doctor of Legal Studies and Legal Studies. Felipe Andres Restrepo Jaramillo from Venezuela. Bachelor of Communication and Communications. Adriana Zabaleta Nava from Mexico, Doctor of Public Health. Education Administration. Miguel Perez Martinez from Mexico, <laughs> from Mexico, <laughs> Doctor of Marketing, Marketing. Andrea Simeona Suera Toribio from República Dominicana, Doctor of Education in Education and a graduate with distinction. Liz Adianes Diaz Rodriguez from Puerto Rico, Doctor of Education in Andragogy. Jorge Ramón Yarrul from Argentina, Doctor of Science in Public Health. Eduard Jacotín from Nicaragua, Doctor of Science, Renewable Energy. Jose Francisco Valentin Felix from Dominican Republic, <laughs> Bachelor of Political Science in Political Science. <laughs> J 
Juan de la Cruz Paz Villarreal from the United States with a Bachelor of Public Administration and Public Administration. Julio Rivera from Canada with a Master of Business Administration and Public Administration. Lisa L. Valle Espinosa from Puerto Rico, Doctor of Science in Biology, graduate with distinction. Maria Jose Diaz Buitron from the United States, for the Master of International Business in International Business. Freddie Wimper Torres Flores from Ecuador, Doctor of Philosophy, Profile Design and Curriculum Reform. Bien, en nombre de mis compañeros graduando, muy buenas tardes a las autoridades de esta universidad, a los maestros, a mis colegas graduando, a los invitados, 
a todos en general. Un saludo especial a las familias que desde sus hogares nos acompañan en este magno evento. En nombre de cada uno de los graduando de esta prestigiosa universidad, muchas gracias. La Universidad IU es una universidad que se enfoca en desarrollar al profesional con competencias que apoyan a los derechos humanos y que fortalece los objetivos de desarrollo sostenible de las Naciones Unidas. Objetivos como cero hambre, cero pobreza, salud y bienestar. Sugiere que dediquemos nuestras fuerzas como profesionales a erradicar el hambre desde nuestros trabajos, desde nuestros contextos, esos en los que tenemos incidencias, con pasión, con amor, con responsabilidad, con compromiso. Sobre todo en la educación, esa educación de calidad en la que podemos desarrollar modelos, modelos donde el liderazgo define los rumbos de la institución con estrategias y con personas que hacen realidad el logro de los objetivos que nos proponemos. Con un manejo de recursos de manera transparente, en donde educamos como lo ha hecho la IU con cada uno de nosotros, con una educación basada en valores, pero sobre todas las cosas basadas en amor, amor a la vida, amor a la naturaleza, amor al medio ambiente, ese amor que hace que cada uno de nosotros sea único e irrepetible, sin olvidar que la calidad trae felicidad. Felicidades, graduandos. All right, now beginning with group C. We have Pham the Hung from Vietnam, Doctor of Science and Psychology. <laughs> S 
Stanley John Sagula from Zimbabwe, Doctor of Strategic Management and Strategic Management Leadership. Antoine Niragire Twagiru Muzika, Central African Republic, Doctor of Philosophy in Public Health. Edison Ayim Awa from the United Kingdom with a Doctor of Business Administration in Business Administration. Isis N. Pena Amon from the United States with a Bachelor of Science in Psychology. <laughs> Ho Lian Chun Wilson from Singapore with a Doctor of Business Administration in Business. <laughs> Samboon Fotizan from Lao People's Republic, Bachelor of Banking and Finance in Banking and Finance. Lucila M. del Rosario from the United States with a postdoctorate of science in human development psychology. <laughs> Michelle Peña del Rosario from the United States with a Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Atriel Arias from the United States with a Bachelor of Psychology and Human Development. Isis Mairobel. Peña Espinal from the United States with a Bachelor of Science in Psychology. <laughs> Cynthia Castiglioni Barreto from Switzerland with a Doctor of Philosophy in Social Communications and Sociology. <laughs> Heather Botchway from Ghana, Doctor of Science in Education. Cindy Tesh from Costa Rica, Bachelor of Science in Information Security.
Colin Neal Gozine from Trinidad and Tobago, Doctor of Business Administration, Leadership in Business Administration. Graduate with distinction. Fadi Abuaita from Palestine with a postdoctor of business administration and business management. Terence Tan from Myanmar, doctor of anthropology, anthropology. Christopher Roger Williams from Granada, Doctor of Business Admin, Business Administration and Management. Joaquim Tazanu Fazong from Canada with a Doctor of Science in Public Health and Medical informatics a botany Nuye and Nyo from Ethiopia with a master of management in project management Hazel Ride O'Connor from Jamaica with a Doctor of Entrepreneurship in Entrepreneurship. <laughs> Zumana Kulibali from Mali, Doctor of Business Administration and Business Administration. Mauricio Jose Serpa Bajos de Moura, United States, Doctor of Political Science and Political Science. James G. from the United States, Doctor of Business Administration in Business Administration. Tesfaye Warku Mogis from Ethiopia, Doctor of Science in Agriculture. <laughs> Amadou Kone from Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire, Master of Public Administration, Public Administration. John V. Doshi Sutaria from India, Doctor of Philosophy in Psychology.
Hi. Uh, my name is Cindy Vitesh. I just want to let you know beforehand that I did not prepare for this whatsoever, um, this speech in particular. But what I did get very prepared for was this graduation. Um, it was 10 years on and off of studying. Um, and then I'm so glad that I was able to get my degree here at AIU. It just makes a world of a difference. Um, I wanted to come here and talk about equality, but especially for women. If, if we empower women, we would have a different point of view on everything. Do you imagine where we could be now if all women were heard and encouraged? I want you to close your eyes now and imagine a little girl. This could be your mom, your niece, your grandmother, any girl, really. And and you know, like every kid, that they have hopes and dreams of who they want to be in this world. So imagine yourself in front of them. Just say, I pledge. I pledge to make this world better for you, for when it's your turn to step into the picture of everybody else's, like, of the world, you will feel encouraged and empowered. And let's be allies. We will really get far if we come together and be allies. Um, women are powerful, and if they are given the support, the world will be amazing and it will be just much more, much more. And um, I just wanted to take the opportunity to thank my family, um, my husband, which has supported me throughout all of this educational journey, um, and my grandmother that's here, that she's always believed in me, my daughter, I know this is really going to make a difference in her life. And when she's older, she's going to look back and see all the things that we've paved as women for the girls that are coming in the future. So thank you. Thank you, AIU. Um, and yeah, congratulations. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you. My name is Isis Peña Amen. I come from a very humble family uh, from the Dominican Republic, and I'm the oldest of nine kids. Um, I was able to come here today, even though I got surgery a few days ago, as you can see, but I said surgery is not going to stop me from being there. And if I went through so much, thank you. If I went through so much to be here, studying and, and accomplishing my career and what I put my mind through, there's no way the last minute I'm not going to make it. So I'm not going to make this about me because it's not about me. It's about all of us, every single one of you that is here, not only the, all the students graduating, but their family members and friends and everybody that support all of you to make it to this point, to accomplish your dreams, your goals, not only women's, but men's, elderly people, people that have disabilities, everyone. It's about all of us. And you know why it's about all of us? Because without all of you in here and me, there will be no AIU. And if there was no AIU, they wouldn't be making a difference in the world. 
individually and 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 every every aspect that they can impact somebody. Thank you, AIU, because thanks to you, we have the ability to become someone and make our, our voice heard. And I know, like me, there are many immigrants and people from all over the world that at some point in their life, their voice was shut. They didn't get a chance to either go to college, university, study a career, become who they can actually be, but because you guys, we are here and we made it happen. So be proud of yourselves and let's not stop here. Let's continue going forward so we can reach our potential and develop ourselves the most we can and always trying to impact somebody because you never know what happened in somebody's life. So thank you so much. And let's celebrate these days for us. Woo! All right, we're almost halfway there. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> All right. Group D, Armando Said Granados Flores from Peru. Bachelor of Economics and Urban Economics. Ramon Miguel Burgos Solis from Chile, Doctor of Education in Education. Reina Maria Pinales Aybar from the United States, Master of Education in Educational Psychology. Eduardo Rivera Leon from Mexico, Doctor of International Business in International Business and a graduate with distinction. Ivan Alberto Barrillas from the United States with a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Maritza Ramos Cerezo from the United States, Doctor of Education in Education. Leticia Pamela Gordillo de la O from Mexico, Doctor of Education in Education and a graduate with distinction. Jose Edgardo Gomez Cardona from Honduras, Bachelor of Science in Architecture. Martin Abelardo Zuniga Navarro from Mexico, Doctor of Science in Psychology. Nelson Joseph Batallas Avila from Belgium, Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering.
Francisco Torres Lebron from the Republica Dominicana, Doctor of Science in Public Health and a graduate with distinction. Jaime G. Parra Santos from Chile, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD in Aeronautical Legal Studies. Mary del Carmen Burgos Ramos from Guatemala, Doctor of Science in Nutrition. Jordani Perez Rives from the United States with a Master of Science in Civil Engineering and Architecture. Victor Rafael Francisco Valencia Abadía from Colombia, postdoctorate of science in architecture. Maria Augusta Milliken from the United States, a doctor of literature in Latin American literature and a graduate with distinction. Roxani Amparo del Pilar Molas Vargas from Italy with a Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Later, yeah. <laughs> Herman Alexander Anaya Regalado from El Salvador, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Yalena Plasencia Perez from Equatorial Guinea, Master of Business Marketing in Marketing. <laughs> Gloria Amira Vargas Saavedra from the United States with a Master of Human Development in human development psychology. <laughs> Stephanie Lucia Villegas Galarza from Ecuador, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Coral Garza Letieri from Mexico, Doctor of Educational Psychology, Educational Neuroscience. Petra Janet Garcia Garcia from República Dominicana, Doctor of Science in Psychopedagogy. Johnson Vinicio Reyvan Gordillo from Ecuador, postdoctorate of science in zootechnics. <laughs> Ec 
ver Héctor Milla Caballero from Peru, Doctor of Science, Systems Engineering. Omar Franklin Placido Lara from Republica Dominicana, Bachelor of Science in Architecture. Luis Alfonso Carrera Fuentes from Peru, Bachelor of Business Administration and Business Admin. <laughs> Ursula Maria Rosa Acosta Barrera from Republica Dominicana, Doctor of Literature in Hispanic American Literature. All right, so at this point, we've been sitting for a long while and, and we're in kind of a rut. So I encourage you to stand up and stretch out if you feel like it. So en español, si queremos estirarnos un poquito, nos podemos parar, estirarnos un poco, como que mover un poco el cuerpo, ¿no? Que fluya la energía. Es fuerte porque cada una de estas personas merece todo nuestro reconocimiento y orgullo y la calidez del aplauso, pero es difícil mantenerse con esa energía. Each and every one of us graduating today deserves that candor and that, you know, very warm applause. And if we keep the body flowing, that comes easier. ¿Qué tal todos? Buenas tardes. Soy el doctor y pastor Eduardo Rivera y me tocó dar el discurso. <risa> y quiero empezarlo con un versículo bíblico que dice, Amado, yo deseo que seas próspero en todas las cosas, así como prospera tu alma. ¿Y quién les está hablando el día de hoy? Hace unos años yo no conocía del Señor y entonces yo vivía deprimido, vivía en la quiebra, vivía bastante mal, estaba en drogas, estaba en adicciones. Y no me da pena decirlo, porque justamente cuando yo conozco y entiendo el propósito de Dios en mi vida, y entiendo que Él quería prosperar mi alma, quería cambiar mi forma de pensar, quería cambiar mi forma de sentir, quería cambiar mi forma de cómo decidir, entonces me di cuenta de un derecho que tenemos un derecho humano que tenemos pero más que derecho humano es un derecho divino y toda mi vida me la pasé conformándome con las migajas de mi propio contexto y de mis propias limitantes que tenía en mi cabeza 
Pero me he dado cuenta que todos tenemos un derecho divino a prosperar y a vivir como Dios quiere que vivamos. Y me he dado cuenta que Dios es todopoderoso, sin embargo muchas veces nosotros limitamos lo que Él quiere hacer a través de nosotros con nuestros límites, de acuerdo a nuestro contexto. Y muchas veces nosotros mismos decimos no puedo hacer esto o no puedo hacer aquello. Pues el día de hoy yo estoy viendo un grupo de valientes que la gran mayoría venimos de pobreza, la gran mayoría tenemos una historia y un trasfondo donde hemos batallado pero hemos creído a Dios que algo puede hacer en nosotros y la gran mayoría que está aquí terminamos nuestro doctorado en mi caso, algunos maestría, algunos licenciatura en medio de una pandemia y mientras muchos se contraían nosotros decidimos creer a Dios y expandirnos y mientras otros decían ya no podemos nosotros decidimos decir ¿Por qué no? Vamos a creerle a Dios y claro que podemos y por eso estamos aquí y a todos nos encantan los finales felices y me encantaría decirles que este es un final feliz pero realmente este es un punto intermedio donde aquí estamos todos reunidos en Miami dando gracias, dándole gracias a Dios pero cada uno de nosotros vamos a regresar a nuestras distintas naciones y la gente allá nos espera y espera que nosotros seamos instrumentos de Dios en esta tierra y en este tiempo. La gente allá en nuestras comunidades está esperando que, llegamos, que lleguemos y que hagamos algo. Que lleguemos y que impartamos de lo que aprendimos aquí. Doy, doy gracias a la universidad, pero el reto ahora lo aviento a nosotros. De que todo lo que aprendimos tenemos que llegar y ser influencia y ser impacto a nuestras comunidades Porque nuestros países nos necesitan Dios les bendiga y felicidades Ok esto está completamente improvisado, la verdad que no pensaba eh, lo más mínimo hablar, pero me salió del alma y eh, no sé si conocen al doctor Lambert, seguramente todos lo conocen. Eh, él me invitó a hacer un congreso de, de evolución perpetua. Lamentablemente el día del congreso yo me operé, entonces no pude, no pude. Pero doctor Lambert, no sé dónde estás tú, puedes estar por acá, a través de esa cámara, seguramente me estás viendo, y hoy puedo eh, dar una conciencia plena de lo que es la evolución perpetua. Quiero que nos demos un aplauso y un abrazo hacia nosotros mismos, porque esa es la evolución perpetua. La evolución perpetua es el amor, el amor que se respira en este lugar, el amor que nos motivó a estar acá, el amor de mi amiga Loreto, que viene de Chile a acompañarme, eso es amor, amor verdadero. Y el amor es el estar aquí y ahora. El pasado nos lleva a la depresión, el futuro nos lleva a la ansiedad. Hoy, en menos de tres horas, conocí a una hermana, que sé que voy a hacer muchas cosas, con mi hermana linda de República Dominicana. Ahí está, que se levante, ella, que es una genia a otra hermana que se llama María Augusta, a, mí, a mi compañero de Chile que es mi mentor, que lo admiro, que se llama Jaime, que está ahí, maravilloso, a Alex, o sea, en menos de un minuto conocí un montón de gente, el doctor Scott, o sea, ya, son parte de mi vida, son parte de mi camino. Y esa es la evolución perpetua, el engendrar relaciones con amor, con confianza y tener un objetivo en la vida. Así que quiero simplemente dar las gracias a la vida por estar acá y a todos ustedes.
And now for Group E, we have Sonal Vishal Pawar from Canada with a Doctor of Philosophy in Business Management. <laughs> Nokrah Wilson William from Uganda with a Doctor of Education in Education. Vishal Vital Pawar from Canada with a Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science. Victor Daniel Rosenthal from the United States with a Doctor of Philosophy in Epidemiology. Bastian Koralalaga on Manisha Sween from Sri Lanka with a Doctor of Philosophy in Business Administration, cum laude. Chuk Wanozo again from Nigeria with a Doctor of Healthcare Administration and Healthcare Compliance. Ulrich Jean-Claude from Haiti with a Doctor of Science, Leadership and Management. Maria Estrella Ayekawa Micha Oye from Equatorial Guinea with a Master of Business Admin in Finance and Accounting. Natalie Irving Maddox from Jamaica, Doctor of Public Health and Public Health and a graduate with distinction. Shingiriyari Mugabiri from Zimbabwe, Doctor of Public Health with Occupational Safety and Health. Joelle Lorquette from Haiti, Doctor of Communications and Communications. Suleiman Ba from Liberia, Master of Science in Renewable and Sustainable Energy, graduate with distinction. Anne Stella Ndangang from Bumbode, from Cameroon, Doctor of Social Sciences, Leadership and Organizational Development. Dylan Kwabla Hewlett from Ghana, Doctor of Science in IT Project Management. Jose Antonio Arrañado, Ireland, Bachelor of Political Science in Political Science.
Martha Oniego Wamukoya from the United States with a Doctor of Philosophy in Project Management. Jamu Flavian Xavier from Canada with a Doctor of Business Administration in Administration. Jennifer Elizabeth Cujo Brathwaite, Trinidad and Tobago, Doctor of Philosophy in Management. Trisha Vivia Morris from Jamaica, Doctor of Philosophy in Mathematics Education. Rosebells Erwin Oviovo from Nigeria, Doctor of Philosophy in Criminal Justice. Luis Asares Guevara from the United States with a Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Juana Augusta Justiniano Rojas from the United States with a Bachelor of Science in Nutrition, cum laude. Edward Mark Metellus from the United States with a Doctor of Arts in Strategic Development and Diplomacy. Yep. Arleni Peña del Orbe from Italy, Bachelor of Political Science in Political Science. Mark Joseph Medellada Toganos, Ma Master of Business Administration from the Philippines. <laughs> Sidonia Shanika Sidoni Valni, Doctor of Business Administration, graduate with distinction. from St. Lucia. Jesse Tome from Guyana, postdoctorate of science, graduate with distinction. And that wraps up the day for all of the conferring. Beautiful. Let's give it up for everyone. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's give a hand clap to God. Before we were conceived, God knew we would be here today to celebrate this great achievement. Also want us to clap for ourselves because without Serious work, we would not be here. Can we clap for ourselves, please? We want to recognize the efforts the university has made into us. This is a great place. The methods, the system they used enable us to be what we have done today. Can we clap for the university? 
Ladies and gentlemen, my name is William Wilson Nograd from Uganda. I'm talking about education. Education, education, education everywhere. Nothing good for us without education. Good roads come around because of education. Good buildings come around because of education. We had had COVID-19. We managed to go through it because of education. Education, education everywhere. But why is it that it is not the same everywhere? We came up with a lot of policies. SDG number four talks about quality education. Do we have it in our country? Equally at the same level? Why? Why not? The developing countries, education is low. Why? What are we doing about it? More than not 20 countries are here for these celebrations. What we have got today is because of education. So my appeal is, let's be change agent. We go back home to ensure that education in our areas are well focused on. We should advocate for budgets. Our country should make good budgets for education. Without good research, nothing can come up. Nothing at all. I want to appreciate the, our university, Atlantic Inter International University, for what they have done. The method they have done, what have you learned from it? They give you opportunity to choose what you can read. But go back to our schools you find that a child has to do everything, even what he doesn't want to do. Why don't we start learning and picking up the talents of our children and then develop it, other than teaching even what we think cannot make them what they want to be? My appeal is, and our commitment to our university here is that these numbers here are change agents, including me. We are going to change the world. We are making commitment to the world to make changes. So let's go back home and take seriously that nothing is for us without quality education. I thank you very much. My name is Joel Lorquet. I am from Haiti. I am a journalist and a specialist in social communication. I am very happy today to be part of this important graduation ceremony. A PhD um, is a good thing because it's open doors, but for me, it's just the beginning. I want to thank the president, Mr. Valsin, all the professors, Mr. Gordon SS, uh, Dr. F um, Foster, Carla uh, Folke, and um, all the team. And far from now, I want to be more involved in the process of change of my country. And that's why I founded, I created the Lockett Foundation for a New Haiti, and we work on education, health, and social services. And I would like to use the media to educate the population, to educate the masses. As you know, Haiti is facing a lot of problems today. We have a lot of uh, insecurity problems with the gangs, a lot of youth. They um, are part of the gang because they have a lack of education. And my dream is to resolve this problem through education because education is the key of the future. I believe that Haiti will change. Haiti must change. And thanks to AIU, I can be one of the actors of change in my country. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. 
I am Natalie Irving Mattox from Jamaica. Um, before I started AIU, I worked as the Caribbean Region Director, um, Deputy Director for um, the International Training and Education Center for Health outside of the University of Washington Department of Global Health. Uh, when I started AIU, I co-founded CTEC, which is the Caribbean Training and Education Center for Health, where we provide uh, health system strengthening, including capacity building for healthcare workers uh, who treat patients living with HIV, chronic diseases, including diabetes, cancer, etc. Uh, it also opens opportunity for compassionate care for marginalized groups, including men who have sex with men, health, uh, commercial sex workers, those uh, groups that do not have equitable access to care. And through AIU, my thesis focused on uh, those programs, and I received over $2.5 million from the U.S. government in funding to continue the programs in Jamaica. I'm very grateful and happy for the support that I received from AIU because um, usually uh, organizations like those in Jamaica usually have to wait to get their funding through other entities and we are receiving direct funding from the US government so I'm very pleased. I wanna thank AIU for this support. I also want to thank them for changing the paradigm. We're making a paradigm shift where education is concerned because this is not just education. As you can see, it's uh, thinking outside of the box and forcing you to focus on what you do best and what you love. And for that, I'm very grateful. Thank you. Don't we look pretty up there? I want to thank our guests and everyone here today, but especially our guests for being so patient and loving as we confer these diplomas that mean so much to these people, to everyone. And now for our final talk of the day, we have Dr. Franklin Valson once again, the man himself. We are now getting ready for the last step of this 
graduation event. And before we go in there, I would like to ask you for another big round of applause for our MC, Santiago Gonzalez. He has done such an outstanding job. Thank you, Santiago. And for this moment, I would like to invite you to please raise. Parándonos en este momento, por favor. And this is about the tasso. This is a ritual which has been around since the beginning of mankind's history. It simply symbolizes and finalizes your graduation. We're getting into it right at this time. Preparándonos para este símbolo que representa y finaliza el proceso de la graduación. Y estamos entrando ahí en este momento. So, please, at this time, we're going to move the tassels from the right to the left. Moviendo las borolas desde la, la derecha hacia la izquierda. And now, based on and by virtue of the authority vested unto Atlantic International University by the state of Hawaii, which implies the government of the United States of America, at this particular moment, ladies and gentlemen, I officially declare you graduates of the class of 2000. 23. Congratulations again and God bless all of you. Thank you. Ten whispers or a shout 